Today's video is sponsored by Dashlane. Keep your digital life secure and never forget a password again. Hello and welcome to another video. I'm on the Dutch island of Saber in the Caribbean and today I've ticked off something on every Avgeet's bucket list. Saber's a tiny island of just five square miles and it's a special municipality of the Netherlands. Its capital is called The Bottom, which is perhaps the most charming capital city name I've ever come across. The runway here is just 400 metres long and it's the shortest commercial runway in the world. I recently released a video where I flew from Doha in Qatar. The runway at Sabre fits into this one 12 times over and with room to spare. In this video, I'm taking a day trip from St. Martin, the aviation paradise of the Caribbean. Maho Beach is directly in front of the runway threshold here, which gives a unique opportunity to get close to plenty of aircraft as they take off and land. Sabre is just 28 miles from St. Martin and can be easily seen on a clear day from Mahu Beach. The airport here at St. Martin is still heavily damaged from Hurricane Irma, which hit in 2017. The whole airport is very makeshift with temporary counters and lots of construction zones. This video was taken just before the afternoon rush of wide body flights, so I was quite lucky to avoid the crowds, which were really severe when I left on an American Airlines 767 the following day. The whole upper floor of the airport is inaccessible, so there are very few facilities. There's no lounge and everyone must board across the tarmac or by bus. Dashlane is a market leading password management service. During this trip, I traveled right around the world, taking in 11 countries and 15 flights. Planning these sorts of trips is the thing I live for, but the actual process of going through websites to give airlines my money can be a hassle. Dashlane makes it quick and easy. The service has a secure autofill feature which remembers my personal details from my address to my passport number and creates and remembers strong, complex passwords for online accounts. Of course, it works right across the internet, from airline websites to online shopping to signing up for web subscriptions. Dashlane works over multiple devices too, giving great flexibility. There are some great security benefits as well. There's a VPN which stops would-be spies from harvesting your personal details, which is very useful if surfing in a foreign country, and it will help unlock blocked content when you're traveling too. Dashlane have teamed up with me to give you a special offer. Try Dashlane for free on your first device by heading to dashlane.com forward slash Paul. Then when you want to upgrade to premium, use my code Paul for a 10% discount and never forget a password again. Air France's Airbus A340 is currently the largest aircraft to regularly use St. Martin, and yes, even this A340 must use the stairs. No jet bridges are working here. St. Martin is very popular with American tourists, so there's a lot of flights here, and using relatively large aircraft too. My flight on the American 767 was to prove my last on this type for the airline. American Airlines retired all 767s in the last few weeks. 
If you missed out on flying the American 767 though, I have to tell you, you didn't miss too much. On board, I decided to let someone else sit at the front for the outbound leg. After all, I get to do this sort of thing all the time. But don't worry, I managed to get up front for the return and I have some amazing takeoff footage from Sabre. Most of the passengers on this outbound flight were a large diving group from Brazil. Sabre is a really popular diving location all year round. The aircon on board isn't great, so Winner have supplied these quirky little fans to help you keep cool. Turning immediately to the south after takeoff, I'm left with a great respect for the Twin Otter. These are super short takeoff and landing aircraft which perform some of the most essential air services in the world in the most difficult conditions. And I'm really looking forward to landing on the world's shortest commercial runway on one of these. There are two pilots on board, but of course no cabin crew on an aircraft this small. The flight itself takes less than 15 minutes and you can see the destination as soon as you take off. So we'll be going no higher than 2,500 feet today. This air route is short, but absolutely fundamental to Sabre's existence. Ferries only come three times a week, but flights come and go several times a day, bringing tourists and goods, and the occasional aviation geek too. And there she is, Huanshou Iraskin Airport. We're going to be landing downhill directly into the wind. There's no overrun for the runway, which is on a slope of 18 degrees. There's just a cliff edge at both ends. So it's quite important with such a steep runway and such a short one that the pilots get things right.
From another angle, it's really easy to see how quickly the runway appears. The flap setting here for landing is at maximum to make our approach as slow as possible. The Twin Otter basically has to be pointed at the ground to descend to this configuration. I was able to do this year in the Caribbean, the other being St. Bart's, the video for which is on this channel. I've still got loads of content to post from before the lockdown, so be sure to subscribe and put your notifications on to get notified when I release a video. Sabre, despite being Dutch, isn't in the EU, so I had to get my passport stamped, and after that it was straight outside to see my aircraft depart straight back to St. Martin. So, what's it like here? Well, mountainous would be a good start. The airport is on the only remotely flat part of the island. The sheer drops at both ends of the runway serve as a reminder that this airport, despite its small size, was built as big as the landscape actually allowed. Near the airport, a solar farm is being installed, giving Sabre clean energy. As well as being a diving destination, Sabre is popular with hikers and has plenty of flora and fauna. Oh, and it's really windy here too. Look at this tree which has been blown back against the mountainside. I took a trip up the mountain by taxi and I got a look at some of the rest of the island. It's very different to anywhere else I've been in the Caribbean, although the driving is just as hectic. At various points, you can catch a glimpse of the airport from the top of the island. You might remember Romy d'Arnen from my St. Bart's video. Well, he actually was the first person to land on this rocky outcrop too, and before it had a runway. The airport terminal is tiny, just a single room built to handle one flight at a time. Oh, and top tip, bring cash in US dollars. The airport cafe and the $10 departure tax are collected in cash only. If you can't pay the departure tax, you can't leave, so be warned. Thank you. 
After just a few hours on Sabre, it was back to St. Martin with the same aircraft and crew as before. Legroom down the front is a bit limited, but the views we'll get from here are amazing. Takeoff from Sabre was absolutely exhilarating, and I'll let the footage do the talking from here. fascinating thing about taking off an extreme airport like Sabre is, despite how thrilling they are to fly in and out of, it's how routine the flying really is, and that's the achievement of commercial aviation in a nutshell. Sabre would be a very different place if it were not for the airport providing a steady, safe and reliable flow of visitors, income and supplies. It's just 12 minutes flying time from St Martin, but it really is a unique island whose character depends on aviation.
This day trip cost me about 200 US dollars for the return trip, so it's definitely not cheap to fly here, but well worth it if you can justify the expense. There's only one shortest runway in the world, and I'm glad to have it under my belt. Try Dashlane for free on your first device by heading to dashlane.com forward slash Paul. Then when you want to upgrade to premium, use my code Paul for a 10% discount and never forget a password again. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.